How to create Google Form for Event Registration Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can create Google Form for Event Registration. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. But before that, if you don't know what is Google Form, it is a versatile web-based tool that allows users to create online surveys, quizzes, and various types of forms efficiently, in which it is integrated with Google Workspace Suite, in which it offers a user-friendly interface where individuals can start by selecting a blank form or choosing from a variety of pre-made templates tailored for different needs such as education or businesses. And users can customize their forms by adding various question types, including multiple choice, check boxes, and short answers, and can easily reorder questions through a simple drag and drop feature. And also once a form is created, it can be shared via email directly, link, and also embedded on a website making it accessible to respondents or on any devices. So from here to sign up, all you need to do is to click the link in the description, then you will be directed on this page, in which it will show in here a variety of template that you can choose from, but since we're creating event registration, we're going to click this one, event registration template. And upon clicking on it, we'll automatically be directed on this page right here, in which it will show us a variety of contents of this event registration template. And all we need to do from here is to simply customize all of this element, including this title, the picture of it, and even the context or the form that are required to fill out. And you could also navigate some other editing tools in here, such as this plus icon and other tools in here. But for instance, we're going to change this event registration title, and I'm going to enter here, party event registration. And after that, below here, you could also change the event timing the event address and even this contact us info below here in which by simply changing all of these elements you can now start customizing or changing in your own preferences and from here you could also navigate such as to change the text to make it bold italic underlined using the editing tools below here and now before we change the header image we could also change below here some of the form that are required to fill out to if your name email organization but to start adding a question, just click this plus button right here. And below, just simply enter here the question that you prefer. We have here question. And also, you could also choose what kind of answer you want to receive. We have here paragraph form, check boxes, drop down, and many more. But now for this question, we're going to enter here this kind of question that is related for party event registration. So for instance, from here, I'm going to enter the question. Your purpose of attending. And below, we're going to enter here a multiple choice answer. And below, we can start customizing some other options in here. But before that, if you also want to add an image on this question, you can do so by clicking this image section. And after that, on this pop up window, all you need to do is simply upload from your computer files, or you could also choose on webcam by URL, pop both those, Google Drive, and even by searching on Google Image. And in those options, I'm going to use Google Images. And I'm going to enter here or choose the search party. Then below it will show us in here a variety of party, picture, or images. And all you need to do is to simply choose from it. And for instance, I'm going to choose in all of this result, this one. So I'm going to click on it and click this insert button to proceed. And after that, you will now be able to see here that the images has now been uploaded in here. And after uploading an image on this question, below here you can simply add here some of the option. For instance, one of the purpose that we can add to the option is this, to have fun. And by clicking this add other, we can simply add another option that we prefer to add. For instance, for this option 2, we're going to add drink, alcohol, and smoke. Then below, you can simply add here another option, or more option that you prefer, such as to have an option 3, 4, 5, and many more. However, it also depends on what type of question and answer that are required in here that I'm choosing multiple choice in here. You could also set this question as required. Duplicate this one, delete this, and even add a description or even shuffle the option order. Moving on below here, under name, question. The answer here that I required is just short answer. And it is also set as required in here. So that means the person who will fill out this form are required to fill out this part in order to submit this form. We also have here this email organization and what days will you attend and if you have a dietary restriction you could also choose this one. It will show us a variety of multiple choices 
that you can choose from if you have a dietary restrictions. And you could also add here another option if you want to, or even delete some other option in here. Or alternatively, you could also change what kind of answer you're looking for. We have here checkboxes, drop down, file upload, linear scale, and many more. And now for this last question in this template, it says here that I understand that I will have to pay dollars upon arrival. So you can add here another option that we prefer. But at this point, I'm going to enter here the option, I have no idea. Which indicates if a person try to click those kind of option, that means that they are not aware that they will have to pay in order to attend to the event. Now going back in here, we could also add in another question that we prefer. But at this point, instead of multiple choice or short answer, I am requiring to upload a file in order to submit this form. And with that, in this question, I'm going to enter here, upload your invitation. And for the type of answer I'm looking for, I'm going to enter here or select file upload. And you can click continue in here to let respondent upload the files to drive. And after that, you will now be able to see here below that we can only allow a specific files item or types. We can choose your document, PDF, video, and many more. And I'm just going to choose PDF and also below under maximum file size, and number of files you can also start customizing this one and you could also set this as a record in order for the user to fill out this part to register on this event and by dragging this part or question you could also start customizing the arrangement of the question in here so now as you can see this upload your invitation type of question is now our first question on this form moving on on the top panel you could also navigate these responses in which it will show in here the number of responses respond on this form and from here as you can see you could also link your google sheets in here by clicking this one it will show you that you could also create a new spreadsheet or even select an existing spreadsheet moving on on the top panel by clicking the settings section from here you could also change this or navigate some other options such as to make this quiz presentation and also change or customize some other form of defaults and question defaults and now to change the theme just click on the top panel this icon and on the right side panel, just choose this color background. And from here, as you can see, you could also change the header picture. But at this point, I'm going to choose this background right here. Or choose this color, depending actually on your preferences. And now for the header section, I'm going to delete this header image. In which from here, we could also choose the kind of themes. I'm going to choose party. And also, you start choosing the photo that you prefer to put on your header section so basically from here you can simply scroll down until you find the kind of image that you prefer and after that just click insert in here then you will not be able to see here that the image of our header has now been changed you could also change the textile header the font size and many more and if you're not done creating an event registration form you can proceed by clicking this preview icon and it will show in here what your form looks like when it has been accessed by other people so you have here our invitation to upload the question of purpose of attending and other required fields that we need to fill out in here in order to register on this event. And aside from that, going back on this page, you could also click the send button on the top right corner in order to send it via email by entering here the email address of your recipient and even copy the link of this form and even this embed file of this. So basically, the purpose of creating a registration form in Google Forms is to facilitate effective event management, enhance attendee experience, and streamline data collection processes. So overall, that is just basically how you can create Google Form for event registration. Thank you.